In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to get your first 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and on top of that, I'm gonna show you whether or not it's possible to actually gain those 100,000 subscribers in the next 30 days for your specific niche and for your specific channel. In fact, this creator just implemented these tips and gained 100,000 subscribers in just 30 days. And this creator did the same thing, and so did this creator, because it's easier to grow on YouTube right now than it ever has been before, whether you're uploading long-form content or shorts content, simply because YouTube is actually incentivized to push out your content and it basically doesn't matter if you have that many subscribers anymore. Because back in the day, YouTube really cared about how many subscribers you had. In fact, if you had a lot of subscribers, you got all the views, but YouTube doesn't work like that anymore and it actually just favors the best content that's actually being created for that specific niche. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how you could do that for your channel right now. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I want 2024 to be the year that you finally grow on YouTube, so let's make that possible. So the first thing we need to do is actually determine whether or not 100,000 people are actually interested in your niche. And on top of that, we need to determine if there's actually a way for you to be able to gain 100,000 subscribers in just a 30-day period. And if you can't, it doesn't mean that your niche is bad. It simply means that it's gonna take you a little bit longer than 30 days to get your subscribers, but at least you understand, hey, I shouldn't have have outsized expectations here because it might take a little bit longer for me to actually get the subscribers I want. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do if you wanna determine how quickly you can realistically grow within your niche is you need to make sure that you find a few different competitors in your niche. For example, if I was going to break into the Roblox niche, I would look for somebody like this creator right here who grew incredibly quickly. In fact, if I come over to Social Blade, I can look up and I'll show you how to do this straight from here. You literally just type in their username, by the way, their username is going to be this at symbol here. A lot of people type in this name that shows up here, but it's not always the actual username. So if you type this in here, you go to Social Blade and you scroll down a little bit, you can see realistically how quickly you can expect to grow and whether or not you can get 100,000 subscribers in just a month. Now, I actually helped this creator gain over 500,000 subscribers in a really short period of time. So I know that you could do that with this niche. And if we look here, he was literally getting 57 million and 58 million views per month, getting him 160K subscribers this month, 174K subscribers this month, and he literally has been getting tens of thousands of subscribers every month since then. And as you could see, he struggled for a really long time before that, and then boom. So a lot of you right now might be in this situation right here, where it literally took six months for him to then gain hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but he needed to know exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and so much more that I'm gonna share with you in this video. By the way, if you're not using vidIQ to discover what keywords actually are gonna lead to getting an increased amount of views that you're getting, or using their new AI tools to tell you what description or what tags to use, or even their AI coach that can tell you exactly what you did wrong in your content, well then you're making a massive mistake because I would have never gained over 650,000 subscribers on YouTube if it wasn't for vidIQ and I strongly suggest that you go to the pinned comment below and register today. In fact, they gave me an exclusive code. If you go to that pinned comment and register right now, you can get 30 days of access for just $1. But the main takeaway I want you to have right now is that you need to actually understand whether or not there's an opportunity for you to grow that quickly in your niche. So if you look at a bunch of small channels in your niche and they haven't grown that quickly, it's gonna be incredibly unrealistic for you to grow that quickly as well. And this leads us to step number two, which is now you need to actually determine what exactly made those creators grow that quickly. And here, you're really gonna be able to uncover exactly what lengths are working, what formats are working, and what titles are working. Because the mistake that you're probably making right now is you're uploading content that YouTube doesn't actually know there's an audience for, and then as a result, you're not getting the views that you want. You need to understand something. I'm not telling you to copy people. I'm not telling you to steal from people, but I am telling you to take what they're doing and make it better because that's how we actually improve in the world and humans have been doing that for forever. So here's exactly how you're gonna do that. There's a few different things you need to make sure that you're doing. First, you need to come through and collect several different small accounts in your niche that are seeing a lot of growth. You do not wanna just go for the biggest person in your niche because this is probably going to give you a really bad example for what growth could look like. And I'd also suggest that you avoid anybody doing affiliate deals or anything like that, like a company, because it's gonna artificially inflate how many views they actually get. So. 
here's what you need to do. You need to actually click into the channel. From here, you wanna sort by their most popular videos and this is gonna reveal a lot of different things. Now, ideally, you're gonna start by looking at their shorts because that's probably where a lot of their growth is coming from. And if we look right here, there's a few things I want you to notice. One, that these three videos got him the majority of his views on his channel. But on top of that, if we look at all three of these videos, they are all basically the same exact thing. So I'm gonna turn the sound off here, but we're gonna click here when you win by accident. And then if we filter, when you jump the wrong guy. And then when we filter, when you fake AFK. Now that is literally his top three videos are the same exact format. But what's even more revealing is if we scroll back a little bit, he's got a few more videos that are incredibly popular that are also in a very similar format. For example, this one right here, this one right here, literally in the same format. The same with this one right here. And if we keep scrolling down, the same format here and the same format here. So literally all of his top videos are from only two formats. Now I want you to think about that because if you were uploading content within this niche or maybe you're looking at the channel for your specific niche, you need to pay attention to the format that they're using because what a lot of small channels do, and I bet that you're guilty of this, is that you create a video that does pretty well and then you just abandon that format. When Instead, you should be doubling down on that format because that is what actually brings a lot of growth to small channels on YouTube and you're never gonna get those 100,000 subscribers if you're not doing that or these next few steps I share with you. Now on top of that, what I wanna make sure that you do is you actually figure out the right length for these posts. So what you can do is you can click into them, come up here and change shorts over to watch and then it's gonna show you this exact length. So this one in this format, 13 seconds long. Now let's look at another one of them. If we look at this one here, again, come up to shorts, change it to watch, boom, again, 15 seconds long. So guess what? If you're creating content in this format, in this niche, what would I not do? I wouldn't make a video that's 20 seconds long or that's 30 seconds long because all of his videos have been 12 to 15 seconds long within this format, which is a very clear sign. That's how long the video should actually be. On top of that, if we go and look at his title structures, guess what end up happening? We literally see the same title structure over and over again. When you then do some popular thing and he always has Roblox in there. The reason that he's doing this is because it actually increased the amount of views that he's gonna end up getting because it makes it really easy for YouTube to know exactly what that post is about. And a lot of you aren't doing the same thing within your content. So what I would do here is figure out exactly what format he's using. And then I would take that format for myself. Now, obviously you're probably not in the Roblox niche. So you need to go through and do this for your specific niche. And this is actually what's going to allow you to grow quicker if you implement these next two steps. And that is making sure that you're actually uploading content very consistently because YouTube really cares about consistency. If you're uploading short form content right now, I strongly suggest you upload one to two times a day. But remember, if you have a video that's a one out of 10, you want to make sure you wait at least 24 hours before posting again, and you want to scrap all the other content you created. In fact, this is a huge mistake you're probably making right now. You're probably trying to batch create your content way too far in advance. And then as a result, when things work, you can't double down on them. So whenever something works, you need to scrap everything else you're doing. And then I would double down on exactly what is working. And then from there, when that's stops working because inevitably it will, you can then go back to testing all those different things. Now at this point, you know exactly what to post. Your expectations are set. You know what kind of content you need to create and how frequently you should upload, but how do you actually create better content? Well, I'm glad you asked. So the first and most important metric is going to be whether or not there's an actual big audience for that piece of content you're uploading. For example, we're going to look at this post right here. Is posting too much ruining your views on shorts? So what I would do is I would come to YouTube, I would actually do a search for that, and I would see whether or not other videos on this topic have gotten views. Now, obviously, all of these have gotten a lot of views. So this is a good topic for me to post on, but had I not seen a bunch of videos pop up, well, guess what? That's a good sign that I shouldn't even create that piece of content. And if you do that for one of your posts that you've already uploaded and don't see anything else pop up that's actually relevant, it's probably a good sign that you are created that piece of content, not doing the research first, and that's why it's flopped. But if there is other content under there that has done well, then it's going to be three other things. The first one is going to be the length, that your length actually doesn't match the type of content that YouTube was pushing for that specific post. But then you can come into your analytics and there are two things you want to make sure you're paying attention to. The first one is going to be the average view duration. So you need to make sure that you're paying attention to your average view duration, not 
after getting 300,000 views, but actually in the first 24 hours, because essentially what you need to be hitting is a video over 30 seconds long, at least 80% average view duration. If it's less than 30 seconds, you want to be hitting 100%. And then there's one other metric we need to pay attention to after we do this, but essentially you want to come up here and change this to first 24 hours. And this is going to show you what the real average view duration is. So again, here, it's actually about the same around 80%. And that is why this video was able to do so well. And on top of that, if I come under here under reach, this is the second metric that shorts really care about, which is how many chose to view. And you need this to be at least 80% of people choosing to view. So you need 80% of people choosing to view. If the video is over 30 seconds long, 80% average duration. If the video is less than 30 seconds long, 100% average duration. But remember, whether you look at this after seven days or 24 hours is going to have a drastic effect on the metrics actually shown. And since you're so serious about getting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, I want to personally look at your channel and tell you everything that I would do differently for your specific situation and for your niche. If that sounds interesting, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use again to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.